Biodiversity is one of these incredibly difficult words. Everybody knows it, and then nobody really knows exactly what it means. One definition is the variability of life on Earth, animals, plants, microorganisms. Biodiversity is important because our lives depend upon it um, as, as people uh, and as, as a species. Biodiversity provides us with food, provides us with building materials, with medicines and many other services that we often take for granted. And essentially we are part of biodiversity and we've evolved with a broad range of species. And when you take those species out, we as humans uh, live in a very different world. Nagoya, as part of the Convention on Biological Diversity, uh, is very important for us because it sets an international framework related to the conservation and use of biodiversity. The world's governments set a target in 1992 to achieve a significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss by 2010. It's clear from analysis we've done that we are not going to achieve this target. And it's now time for the world's governments to come together, look to the future, and make realistic targets that really have an impact on society. Biodiversity is our life support system. It provides our food, our air, our water. Now, that provision is out of a very complex system. Imagine a car as a life support system, and it's very complex. If you start pulling bits out of a car, it's going to stop working. You may not know which bits are going to stop it working, but some will. If you start pulling bits out of biodiversity, if you start losing bits of biodiversity, the same thing will happen. Bits of the life support system will stop working. We are often asked why it is that we in the UK should take an interest in other people's plant diversity. Well, the answer to that is, uh, unless you had acorns and turnips for breakfast, you would have eaten someone else's biodiversity, be it wheat, be it rice, be it maize, whatever it was. If you have a child who uh, has survived leukemia, it will probably be down to a plant from Madagascar. Uh, we have, in this seed bank here, two billion seeds from 30,000 species from all over the world. Uh, and they are our biodiversity. They're biodiversity that belongs to those partner countries, but also to humanity and um, to the world. What we need to do is make people aware of the issues, to define the status and trends and communicate that. And we really need to mainstream, now that sounds jargonistic, but we need to really take the ideas of conservation and have lawyers, doctors, politicians thinking along the same lines, thinking about sustainability. And if we don't achieve this, if we don't scale up both defining the issue and the solutions, then we will never come towards, even close come towards, having a sustainable future for the next generation.